And we're back. And we're back. It's going to pick up so... <laughs> I promise... <laughs> they gotta go get the cross. They gotta go get the cross at the auction in three days, and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. Oh wait, get to the I got another package delivered today. My Christmas gifts are all here now. Hooray! I wrapped the rest of my Christmas gifts. That means I have one more to wrap. God, God damn it! Actually, that's a lie. I need to wrap your Christmas gifts still. I have one left for you. That's awesome. I didn't know you got me something. It's a bitch and a half. It's a bitch and a half to wrap. Yeah. Ugh. All right. Okay. Okay. It's picking up. They're smoking. No, he's so he's he's gonna, wearing a jean jacket, but Nate I'm isn't. I'm pretty now. confident he's calling his wife. Hey, hon, it's me. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna be gone nice. for a while. Now, here's what this game is all about: James marriage James infidelity. James. Instead of saying anything that just happened, he's like, "I gotta stay late at work." Bro, and he lied to his wife saying he's going to take some shitty recon job, not recon job, recovery job in Malaysia digging stuff up for his business instead of being like, yo, remember the adventures we used to go on? Well, my brother just showed up and I think I got to go on another one. You know what? I've been idolizing Nathan, Nathan this whole time and I think, uh, I think you just became my hero. I think I'm going to change how I handle my relationship now. <laughs> 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 well, you have a brother, so you could technically do this. Yeah, that's true, yeah. I have a brother. I could... Oh, I meant to call my brother. My brother called me today, and I just completely blew him up. <laughs> you can do it after this. I probably will. <laughs> oh, now I feel bad. Uh, we could both do this. We can do this. Together. Nah, with our brothers. Oh, I can... Oh, my God, we can make it a competition. Which one of us can steal an ancient, priceless artifact first. Yes, exactly. And then find gold... And priceless shit. Not cleanly. And like, kill people. I feel like we'd have very different methods of going about that. I I feel like I wouldn't do it. <laughs> you'd get all the way there, you'd scope out the place and be like, that's too many Ferraris. This is too this is this too, is too much. Like I would roll up in my Ford in my twenty thirteen Ford Edge <laughs> to a villa and be like that's too much. Like, mm -mm. I, I ain't got money like this. I, I ain't got jail time money like that. <laughs> oh, I... Put me in jail. <laughs> See what happens. More crime. More, more crime. I, feel like, I can just imagine you like talking your way... Oh! If I remember correctly, what they're arguing about is uh, Sam doesn't like Sully, and Sully is Nate's like right-hand man, father figure guy. Oh! oh. Probably because, yeah. you know, he had... Values and morals and... Who, Sam? No. Sully? Yeah. Sully does not. Sully Sully's doesn't? A, Sully's a stogie-chewing old guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's awesome. <laughs> uh, he doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't give a shit, dude. <laughs> He's like, ah, you want to steal something? Pretty much, yeah. In the first Let's three go. games, that's sort of how it went. Let's go. He's like scuba diving and a stogie sticking out of his fucking air breather. Time to do all this in a tux. <laughs> Time to be wearing a tux under a jumpsuit and do this. This game is gorgeous. It's so pretty. Chapter Man, we're six. flying through chapters. Yeah, yeah, yes. The first five are just exposition. Yeah. I hope the next, what is it? I think, uh... 18? Yeah, I think it is 18. Yeah. yeah. 18 is... Just, just gameplay. Game. Hey, nice. look, we can finally roll. Yes. Yeah. And jump. And, and die. die. Oh, there. <laughs> oh, that would have been cool if we died. Just, how'd you die? I jumped too high. I tried too hard and got so far. And in the end. And rest in peace, Chester Bennington. Yeah. Uh, Aww. Man. What? I just love Chester Bennington. Hey, look, a grappling point. Oh. Do I have the grappling hook still? Yeah! Sam has the grappling hook. Woo! Man, it's time for the Jake's favorite mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's really great. That was awesome. That's a really great bit. Uh, I got it. Let's go. Jake's Misses. favorite mechanic. Rope mechanics. Dude, Naughty Dog loves their ropes. I think that's why you love these games so much. Probably. All they're the fucking mechanics. awesome. Uh, What's going on? Are you going up? 
I'm, I'm supposed to go wherever I want, dog. It's an open world game, and by that I mean it's a completely linear narrative gameplay. <laughs> I was about to say, it is not an open world uh, game. I think, from what I think I know about this game, is it like a little open at some point? There is one part that is open. Sam, I need the grappling hook back. Pretty please. Is it like that bit in uh, Last of Us 2 where like you're in the city? Oh my gosh, you're just like monkey backpacking him. Yeah, because he's got my favorite part of the game. The fucking the the thing the, gra the grappling hook, hey. which I think every game should have. By the way, <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima did. Is that why you liked it so much? Oh, you gotta go down and grab it from down there. Oh, that's fucking stupid. Drop. Broken fingers. Yeah, your arms. Are gone, <laughs> um, have you ever seen those videos of like stuntmen breaking down stuff like this? Yes, uh, it's on uh, Quarter Digital. Yeah, yeah, it I is so series. funny to me because they're constantly just like, yeah, dislocated shoulder. You couldn't do this. Yeah. <laughs> like flat out, they're just like, I have tried doing this my whole life. I've made a career out of this. You could never, in your wildest dreams, do this shit. If only you had friggin' hollow bones. That's it. No other way. Uh. Uh. Oh yeah, but what I was saying before is it's like that, uh, is that open bit, kind of like Last of Us 2 when you're in the city? Yeah, it's the, the same concept. Same it's like, concept. you've got areas you can go to, if you want to just streamline the story, you can do that too. Uh, what I like to do is when I get there, I make it last, like, 20 hours. Because I walk the whole area. <laughs> I walk like, everywhere. Get off my horse and I just go. Man, you'd love Shadow of the Colossus. No Oof. horse in it. Just Oof. walking over there. <laughs> oh my god, Shadow of the Claws would be like six times longer if you just didn't use aggro to get anywhere. <laughs> Do you not like Shadow of the Colossus? Unpopular opinion. Yeah, no. Really? Okay. I like I it. I get it. I get it, though. Nah, I, I don't think it's fair for me to say I don't like it. I like it. I like the playthrough I watched of it. What'd you watch? Uh, you Jacksepticeye. Watch? Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you watch all of Jacksepticeye? I used to. Oh. I used to. See, when, I, when I was a young, when a I was young a young man. lad. <laughs> See, I was a. I'm a huge Game Grumps guy. Still to this day, love them so much. Uh, I watched their playthrough of it, right, on, and the on. best part, uh, for people that have never played Shadow of the Colossus, skip ahead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the whole game, the entire game from the very beginning. Uh, Aaron tells Dan how great aggro is, and he really builds him up the whole game. So when he falls off the bridge, Dan is fucking crushed and mortified, and it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. And he's like, because Dan realizes it, and he's like, you built him up for so long, you asshole. <laughs> and Aaron's like, yeah, yeah, it's great. <laughs> what a great game that Jake yeah. doesn't like. No, I just I'm so fucking, okay, yeah. <laughs> I get it, because it's like you have to go all the way over here and kill this thing. You go all the way back, and you go all the way over here and kill this thing. Just go all the way back. Yeah, it's, I think the story's good. Uh, I, I think in terms of video games and gameplay, it, uh, games have just gotten to a point where, like... It's unnecessary? It's boring now, yeah. Yeah. Like, it's, I'm, not, I'm not going back to play it anytime soon, if that makes yeah, any sense. I, like, I totally get it, because it's... A lot of complaints that a lot of critics have about uh, games these days is that just long expanses of doing nothing, wasting time in a game, which is exactly what Shadow of the Colossus is. That's so much of Shadow You're of the Colossus. You're just riding your horse everywhere. And it's not like it's in a big world or anything it's, that's full. It's death it's stranding in a big with a horse. Okay. <laughs> You're just riding everywhere. Okay. Um, you take that back, you son of a I'm bitch. I'm kidding. Uh... Jake loves going on walks. Death Stranding gets too much hate. <laughs> De Death Strand. I'll say. It. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like that I say this, and this. Yeah. No one's gonna agree with this <laughs> at all, like ever, forever, and ever. Death Stranding's better than Shadow of the Colossus. I can see the argument you can make for that. Uh, can you? Because I can't, and I just said it. I can't. Here's why. Because a lot of critics are like, this game is worse than this game, and here's why. It also depends on how, the, like, the lens you look at it through. Shadow of the Colossus, yeah, it's like you gotta run around, and you have a bunch of quests Where to defeat these big... I have no clue. 
uh, to beat these big monsters. But honestly, Death Stranding. Fuck it. If you, oh my god, oh. not that way. <laughs> uh, I was lost. Death, Death Stranding. If you just want to take like chill out, take a walk. Dude, it's so chill. Yeah. All the time. It's not, it's oh. the shit. Like, oh, and every now and then, like. Every now and then music cut, kicks in and it's like, oh, I've never heard of this weird indie band. And then the game's just like, well, here's nine of their songs. <laughs> and it's like, cool. I'm down with that. Because a lot of... I feel like a lot of critics are like, oh, action, adventure, narrative. It's like, well, just taking a walk. Well, yeah. There's a f- here's- people are like whining about how slow the game is. There's a fucking farm simulator. Like... Yeah, but so here's my thing. So I love Death Stranding. Yeah. Uh, my game plan over Christmas break is to finish it. Oh, yeah, you're almost done, yeah? Yeah, I want to beat it. But and then I need to actually... I feel like we should play it on... I'll, I'll play it on here. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> or we'll stream it. We'll uh, keep streaming up. He, I understand the criticisms. They're valid. The walking gameplay isn't fun. Like, <laughs> like if you're watching it for entertainment, it's not. It's It's walking. Uh, Seems like and it gets it can get annoying because like I always play it holding the triggers which balances the backpack but if you let them go and it's all too heavy like you start leaning in different directions and shit also Sully's here and I'm happy I love Sully he looks like Paul Newman oh I love him oh he's just like an old fashioned he's like, awesome why up like I love him dead brother right uh but yeah I think it all depends on, like, the context in which you go into the game. What do you expect from the game? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I love it. I think the story's good. It's a little convoluted. doesn't make any sense, but I still like it. <laughs> um, it's a lot convoluted. Yeah. It's so... It makes no sense. No. But I love it. Uh, it's a lot of ambiguous talking. Yeah, and it's a lot of talking. But... <laughs> I like, like it. those games. I enjoy it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's picking up. It's picking up. It's exciting. We're at an art gallery. Fucking. Egg. I think it's fun. Uh. Before they start I think it's fun to watch. Yeah. Uh. Some way we can grab it. There is just. Like, are, yeah. you, are you raging at? at I enjoyed. I, I enjoyed Death Stranding, and I'm more likely to play that if so, if somebody put Death Stranding in one PlayStation. And Shadow of the Colossus is another. It's a play one. It's Death Stranding all day. <laughs> well, let's talk about that. Are we talking like you You have 30 minutes to play a game. Which one would you go to? Death Stranding. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah. Doesn't Shadow of the Colossus get into it way faster? Yeah. Right. Shadow of the Colossus is <laughs> within the first five minutes. You're fighting a Colossus. Like, yeah. It's... It's... <laughs> It's like, it, yeah, it's Shadow of the Colossus in my eyes is like, it's like, like, like stale potato chips. Yeah? Like, I'll eat stale potato chips. Yeah? But I want them fresh. No. Now. <laughs> like, don't tell me I can have stale potato chips in an hour. Like, if you offer me a stale potato chip, it better be right now. If you give me the option of any other snack, I'm taking it. That's Shadow of the Colossus. I just don't like it. Is that bit from somewhere, or is that just from your brain? I think it's both. I can't remember. Uh, I think I'm just blindly hating Shadow of the Colossus right now. It, it might be association. I know my ex-girlfriend liked it a lot. Oh, oh. But like a good, not not. We're a, getting into the psychology. Why not a crazy it? one. Like a, she was a good one, but like she liked uh, not even Shadow of the Colossus. She liked The Last Guardian. Oh, that's a totally different game. But it's made by the same fucking. I people. know. Well, I mean, so was Where's this and The Witcher, going? and they're two different games. The Witcher? Oh, sorry. Fucking, I'm thinking of uh, Cyberpunk and The Witcher. No, this and uh and uh Last of Us Two. They're. Kind of similar, but very different games all the same. Yeah. Like, uh, The Last Guardian. Also, The Last Guardian came out, like, 18 years after Shadow of the Colossus. So it was very different. Yeah, and it, it still let people down. Oh, yeah. It, it was like Duke Nukem Forever. It, it's like, uh... It's like development hell, and it was like, oh, it's finally coming out, and it looks like it's gonna be good, and then it came out, and it was like, oh. Well, it's like, uh, fucking... It's like someone took a DeviantArt fan, like, fan thing... 
and we're just like, that looks cool. Let's put it Jesus in a game. Christ, where am I supposed to be going? And the the biggest like appeal of it is that it looks cool. Like that big beast looked really cool. Oh, the bird dog thing. Yeah, it was it was really cool looking. But it was cool that, looking. It was. It was just kind of frustrating. That's true. You right. Yeah. You right. Okay. You won me over. Shadow Claws is a good game. <laughs> All right. No, I agree. All right. Th- uh, yeah, this is the end of a uh, of a uh, game seller. It's all over. We figured it out. No, it's electronic. Who? I'm gonna have to find another one. Oh. No, no, I just got a notification that somebody joined a Discord server I'm in, and I'm like, I don't know who this is. That's happened to me every now and then with like the boys, in my in in the fret. Oh yeah. I'll get a notification every now and then when somebody hops on the server, like I give a fuck. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm here. Okay, I don't know who you are. But it doesn't even say what they say in the server. Like, I don't get messages and notifications when people are in the server talking. But, like, when somebody hops in the server, it's like, yo, they're in. Like, okay. Alright. What am I supposed to do? Uh, you're lifting Oh, yeah, something. yeah, 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 yeah. He said, I can handle a simple lift. Oh. Yeah, stare at you butt. fucking... Yeah, let's stare at his butt. I kind of like that that perspective that it gives you. Got it. All I had to do was check out a good-looking guy. <laughs> it was challenging. Hey, man, how'd the lift go? He had a tight ass. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> how'd it go? It was pear-shaped. Was I good. mean, it was nice. <laughs> really nice. <laughs> <laughs> He is Ear pieces. just... Dude, he's baller. He's just like a classic James Bond type. Yeah, guess who's playing him in the movie? Who? Guess. We'll be in touch. I have no clue. I can't... Shot even... in the dark. Shot in the dark. Shot in the dark, who do you think? Fucking... Oh my god, what's his name? Uh, he talks like this. Sean Connery? Sean Connery. Sean, Connery. Sean Connery's dead, Kyle. <laughs> cool. I remember that. Sean Connery... R.I.P. Sean Connery. Then. Sean Connery died. Who else? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Mark Wahlberg. Pleasure to see you again. Really? The casting for this movie gives me no hope for this movie. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it's a shitty cast. Like, you know when, like, studios are too afraid to cast, like, lesser-known people? For roles that they might fit or Nathan Fillion in a big role, yeah, then you know it's probably not gonna be the best. It's gonna yeah. be a lot of montage. It's gonna be a lot of action that has like an empty feel to it. But we're judging it before it came out. So I mean, I'll do that. Not, yeah, no, I'm, yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna do that. We can make an educated guess. Like, mm, this might be bad. Like when Cyberpunk 2077 was. I still six have times. hope that it'll be good because on all the next gen consoles, it was like. Fucking great. Yeah. So when I get a PS5 and I buy Cyberpunk, because I'm gonna buy it, I'm excited. I'm gonna make my dick so big. Um, which you can do. Like, that's awesome. I know. It will slow down your fucking speed. You're just Randy Marsh bouncing around the city. <laughs> uh... So you had a pretty lady come up to you to come Nadine. up to Sully. Nadine, be like, yo, uh, I got the drop on you and walk away and just be like, well, she had the drop on me. She's gone now. Yep. <laughs> Sound like a Catwoman Batman situation? So I used to work in catering. I can't play this game. <laughs> I, got, I just got too many bad memories. That just brought me all the way back. Um, I mean, I just worked in the kitchen for a little bit. Oh, we'll get there. Yeah. Give it a minute. And jump, fuck stairs. Oh man, we can actually we can do stuff now. We have options. Yeah. Oh man, is Too that scene from Casino? <laughs> <laughs> That's a reference. Holy <laughs> shit. Hot take number two. Three? However many I've had so far. Like three so far. Casino is more rewatchable than Goodfellas. I. Hmm. I have to watch Goodfellas. Have you never seen Goodfellas? No. You what? You are always baffled at the movies I have not it's seen. It's fucking Goodfellas. It's a classic, I know. 
I used to get my hair cut at a place called Goodfellas. And, and you that's still the next never. Extent. You still never thought. Oh. I should watch Goodfellas. Goodfellas. Yeah. I should see it. I should. And I know I should. It's on the list. The huge, gigantic scrolling list. You've but, seen Goodfellas. No, I have not seen Goodfellas. Dude, Goodfellas is. It is a great movie. I just think Casino is more rewatchable. Like it's more I know entertaining. That Goodfellas in the mainstream is just like uh, like praised. Oh, it's, it's amazing. It's also got like everybody in it, doesn't it? Doesn't yeah, Robert De Niro's like, in it. Does it have Pacino in it? No. No, it's not one Joe of like, the Pesci. two movies that they were in. No, <coughs> that's Heat <coughs> and uh, The Irishman. Uh, Joe Pesci is in it. He's awesome in it. He's hilarious. That's a reference for people that have seen the fucking movies. Oh, is that the one where he's like, am I like funny like a clown? Yeah, yeah, oh, funny okay. how. I know that scene. Oh, funny like a clown? Like I amuse you? How, how? How am I funny? Yeah. Yeah, that part. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. I did. I did it wrong. I was supposed to pull. And I, didn't. <laughs> I feel like this whole episode's going to be called Jake's Hot Takes. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah... I know that scene. I know Goodfellas is a classic. Isn't there somebody else in that movie that's like... Ray Liotta. Oh, fucking Ray Liotta. The guy from... from B-movie. From B-movie. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. The guy from B-movie. <laughs> the guy from fucking B-movie. You don't disrespect Ray Liotta like that? <laughs> it's weird. Ray Liotta, yeah, he doesn't have like the filmography. Yeah, he doesn't have an extensive film. But he doesn't really need it. If that makes sense, his fa his face is just so recognizable. Well, that and he was also in Goodfellas. Like, oh yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah. his whole filmography is set. He's it's like, good. It's like Macaulay Culkin. Like Macaulay Culkin doesn't have a gigantic filmography, but yeah, but he's 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 uh, Michael Jackson's kid's godfather. You know, like he's good. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh man, that was a weird relationship. But he he confirmed. He's like, hey, it was f it wasn't weird. We didn't have a weird relationship. It was fine. That's what he said. That's what Macaulay Culkin said. Okay. As, sure. As, as to Michael Jackson's actual motivations, I cannot say. But Me neither. But. but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. What are his kids doing now? Michael Jackson's kids. One's a model. Paris, I believe, is a model. Uh, the other two, I have no idea. But oh. good, I don't care. I thought they, I heard something about one of them in the news. I'm never gonna meet him. <laughs> uh, never gonna care about him. They're never gonna come up with anything as good as you know, bad or thriller or thriller. Hot take number five. <laughs> Bad's a better album than Thriller. Okay, I'll take that. I'll, I wasn't always like it's Thriller, so it's like okay, I enjoy this, but I've always found Bad to just be better. It is. It's enjoyable. It's just more it's, enjoyable. It's, yeah. Also, uh, Weird Al's parody of Bad is way better than his Thriller parody. Yeah, but Eat It, <laughs> Eat It's a classic. Yeah. Oh, man. I love Eat It. I love Weird Al. I do, too. I read an article on him, like, a couple of years ago, and it basically was just this journalist being like, why don't we talk about him when we talk about classic musicians? Yeah. He's been in the game for 30 years. He's, like, And he's aged like fucking one. Yeah, and he's still doing it, and he's still funny about it. He's like, hilarious. He's He also just pops up in media everywhere. Just a, just cameos yeah. everywhere. His uh, Trapped in the drive through. <laughs> I love that is video. It's the funniest video <laughs> of all time. Like, I haven't seen all however many parts of Trapped in the Closet there are by R. Kelly, mainly because it's fuck R. Kelly till I die. Yeah. Sometimes you can, Kelly. like we were talking about, sometimes you can separate the art from the artist. This situation, no, no. No, R. Kelly's no, R. Kelly. a monster. Fuck R. Kelly. Uh, but, yeah, no, I remember watching that when I was, like, I think it was, like, seven or eight I found it. Uh, it's so funny. At the time, I was like, okay, it's kind of funny. And I didn't appreciate it because I wasn't old enough. And then I got older, and it only got funnier. It's so funny every <laughs> time. Like, that and Smells Like Nirvana always make me laugh. Like Nirvana. Just, yeah. I wa oh. I, did I tell you I saw him in concert last year? You saw him in concert? Yeah, I saw him in concert. That's hilarious. The the No Strings Attached uh, tour. That's hilarious. It, he had a full orchestra behind him. Really? It was one of the Hold most on, amazing. Hold on, wait. The tour was called No Strings Attached and he had a full orchestra? Full orchestra. That's 
awesome. It was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. And the whole thing, Can... the whole tour was a pun. It was yeah. amazing. Uh, and he's still fucking got it. It's, I'm sure. It's so good still. That's great. Oh, my God. He played Smells Like Nirvana, and I just, just oh, he's got great. down to it. I love him. I went with uh, Raquel and her dad. <laughs> <laughs> So you brought your girlfriend and her father. Yeah, actually, I brought it to him before I brought it to her because he's a giant. He, yeah, because he's also yeah, yeah, he's the musician and shit. Yeah. <laughs> God, I just realized he, this waiter walks out to him just being on the yeah, wall. Yeah, this waiter walks out on a smoke break. That's just, why. That's why they cast Tom Holland for him, so he can just stick the for walls. For sure. Yeah. But uh. With, with, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I told her dad before I told her because I was like, hey. Uh, I walked downstairs, they were all together, like, eating dinner, and I'm like, um, hey, Bob. Yeah? Uh, <laughs> hey, 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 Bob. Uh, so, there's, Weird Al's going on a tour again. Oh? Yeah. Uh, you wanna come? You wanna, you wanna go? You, you think about it? He's like, I'll buy tickets right now. I'm like, cool. And Raquel's like, can I be involved in this decision? And I'm like, well, your dad's already buying tickets, so... <laughs> can, can I have a say in this? Uh, oh, you want to come? Oh, okay, I mean, I guess. <laughs> but it was it was a fantastic tour, and I uh, oh man, seeing him live is just a blast. Although sure. it was all seated, like it wasn't standing, which is what I'm very used to with concerts. Really? Uh, yeah. So I was like ready to jam and party and dance, and I'm sitting with fucking oh my god, so many weird. As much as I love Weird Al, he's a weird fan base. Yeah. Um, just the weirdest fucking people around me. And this woman was so mad at her husband in front of me. And I don't know why. But they had like Weird Al hats on and Weird Al shirts so, on. So they're in like the full get up and it's just, you motherfucker. Yeah. And they, they were like a little, both of them were a little bigger. So when they got up to fight but didn't want to leave, they got up. To argue more as if they were gonna leave and then didn't leave. And oh I'm like, my I'm God. watching the show. Please sit down. <laughs> Shut up. Like, I, was, I once went to a Justin Timberlake concert and I brought my girlfriend at the time. You went to a Justin Timberlake concert? Dude, and brought your girlfriend and didn't think that Justin Timberlake was gonna sweep her off her feet? Well, no. We got a fight. <laughs> uh, to this day, I'm still mad about this because the tickets were a gift for Christmas. So my aunt and uncle bought me tickets. It was the 2020 tour. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, what? Yeah, so oh. it was the 2020 Experience Tour. Not the 2020 Tour. That's back in like 20, 2016, right? Like 2014. 2014. Oh, so, yeah! Like, he had oh. just come back with me. Like, Suit and Tie and Mirrors were on the radio. Like, That's right. Like, hits. Uh, he just popped back in, and I was just like, fuck yeah, Justin Timberlake, let's go. Like, I was all aboard the hype train for Justin Timberlake when those albums came out. Because they're fucking good. Uh, the only attachment I have to that is I performed suit and tie that sucks. with a band I played with, and I was like in the cafeteria, not on stage, in the yeah. cafeteria. It was well, fucking cringy. So my aunt and uncle didn't know that I was like having this ex like fuck yeah Justin Timberlake mindset, and for Christmas my uncle and aunt bought me these tickets on a whim, being like he likes music, he listens to all this type of mu all these mu all these music genres. It's just Timberlake. He's probably gonna love it. He might. He probably likes Justin Timberlake. They <laughs> gave me. They Timberlake. gave me the tickets, and I. I genuinely wasn't expecting them because I. I hadn't talked about Justin Timberlake. It wasn't like hell yeah, best album of the year because it fucking wasn't. But I opened the tickets and I was like, Oh my god, let's go! <laughs> and there were two tickets, and they were like, you can take your girlfriend because at the time I had a girlfriend, uh, and I did. And halfway through the show, he was doing a dance. And he has backup dances, and they're like grinding on each other. And yeah. she's like, oh my god, I can't believe that his wife is okay with that. He's a performer. Thank you! That's what I said! He's a performer. I looked at her, I was like, babe, that's his job. That's what they do. That's what sells. That's the job. And she goes, so you're saying I should be okay with that? And I was like, can we not have this argument? You know, being 16 year olds and insecure, but also at the same time in love and thinking that's the future. Uh, she was like, no, we should talk about this now if you're okay with that. So we fucking leave our seats and argue for the rest of the show. Like this lovely couple right here. Just yeah. An argument. We argue 
for the like the second half of the show in the staircase of the TD Garden. What a stupid way to spend your time at Justin Timberlake's concert. What a waste of my Christmas gift. <laughs> like, I bought, and I remember I bought her the program for the show and a hoodie. I didn't get shit. And, uh... You had a good argument. That's what you got. You had a great argument. <laughs> uh, and, and literally, like, we left, and my dad had driven down, had driven us down, and then he went and, like, had dinner at some restaurant... And so he picks us up and he's like, how was the show? And my girlfriend was like, it was great. And I just went, yeah, it was good. And we dro- we dropped her off in her house. And my dad went, so the show was good? And I went, I think I'm going to break up with her tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, excuse me? And I explained it to him. And he was like, oh, that's shitty. And then uh, I didn't break up with her. We broke up a little while later. But, like, yeah, for a minute there, I was so mad because, like, I'm still mad about it because I went to a concert. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, dude. Like, are you fucking kidding me? It's Justin Timberlake. You and ruined, this. You this, ruined my chance with Justin this, Timberlake. This wasn't Justin Timberlake now when it's like, all right, it's Justin yeah, Timberlake, it's whatever. This was like he had just come back and he came back hard. Like, those songs were inescapable on the radio. And you're telling me that halfway through the show, you're going to be like, I can't believe he has dancers grinding on him. And I'm supposed to be like, oh my god, yeah, there's somebody. Oh my god, Those, you're those so are somebody's right. daughters. I would never do that, babe, but not just because I'm not going to be a performer. Are you kidding me? I would grind Justin Timberlake. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that you're the performer you're getting grinded on, it's you're the one grinding I would grind Justin on Justin Timberlake. Timberlake. <laughs> if, if I showed up to work and they were like, you want to get paid? You got to grind on Justin. <laughs> You gotta grind JT for the next four hours, dude. <laughs> I'll do it till I'm, I'll do it till my butt's numb. I don't fucking care. <laughs> like, and you're gonna sit there and oh t- like God. you're gonna look at me and tell me that that's wrong. I need to get paid. What are you fucking doing? <laughs> and I and I hope I know the people listening to this don't understand. <laughs> I have held this anger. Oh my God! It's all coming out right. I now. have held on to this <laughs> since I was 16. I'm fucking 22 now. <laughs> Like, six years have gone by. That was my first relationship. Oh, my God. I've now since been in, like, five relationships? Right? <laughs> so yeah. it's all just been just like, stewing. I'm in my fifth relationship. This shit still haunts me. <laughs> like, every now and then, if I'm listening to Justin Timberlake and my girlfriend now is like, Oh, good song. I'm like, you don't know! No. You don't get to say that. Nobody gets to say that anymore. Not to me. <laughs> yeah. So uh, like real God, quick, I'm gonna pause. Me. I have to go turn the oven off. Uh, we're so close. Okay. To the end of our episode. Then we'll just we can't cut this out, but yeah. Hey, Jake. Well, Jake's been, you know, doing some chef shit. I'm seasoning a skillet. Yeah. And I left it in the oven for longer than I needed to. It's gonna take forever to cool down. Uh, but yeah, Rafe's here. Yeah, I saw that. Rafe had a nice little conversation. Yeah, with and the, now they have to outbid the millionaire. Oh, is Rafe a millionaire? Rafe got money. Oh, shit. Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. But, yeah, no, fucking... Yeah. And I remember I was so mad, too. So much rage. Well, and I was mad, too, because my brother at the... My, not my brother at the time. My brother and I both were like, Justin Timberlake's the shit. <laughs> and my brother was like, well, if, if... My girlfriend at the time, if she didn't want to go, I was going to bring my brother. You know who I wouldn't have gotten in an argument with about dancing? Your brother? My brother. Yeah. We would have been like, wow, those dances are pretty hot. Call it a day. Okay. Oh, my God. I have never... I, oh, I never, I've never seen the side of you, Jay. Dude, I've held on to this for years. <laughs> this is borderline therapeutic. Like, oh. just fucking... Oh. Well... And if she listens to this, I don't know how. She, we, don't, we haven't talked in forever. But if she gets a, if she catches wind of this channel and 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 sits through all the other videos and gets the, I hope she does. <laughs> um, and I hope she knows. I hope she still has the fucking hoodie, and I hope she knows I want it back, along with my French vanilla Crown Royal that is still in her fucking apartment, probably. I'm not done. Smash that, <laughs> smash that triangle foot. I'm still mad. <laughs> 
And with that, that's the end of our episode. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, it's gonna pick up soon. Literally right now. It's it's picking up. It's I feel bad because we just talked through like so much plot. I've been watching. I know what's happening. That's fine. Uh, basically. See, Raph even said, let's get this fucking show on the road here, Uncharted 4. Yeah, and he, he flat out just bet 500,000 euros. Oh, man. Like, to outbid almost everyone else in the room, he just flat out was like, all right, let's go. F half a... Oh, my God. Whoa. Everybody just glitched for a sec. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice, Naughty Dog. Let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? Oh, man. It's and really hard to find a stopping place in this game. Well, you know, see, what I'm about to do is... Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Yep, yeah, bye. <laughs>